What's up, man? As you see the title of the video, these are a couple tips and tricks, or just things that I think you need to be successful, especially in high shot. All right, so now what I'm doing right now is, y'all probably wonder why I'm not taking this strap off. As you see, I kinda was hoping that it wasn't gonna go this way, but it still went this way. There's a piece on this side, basically just like this, that it was cut into the strap, and as you can see, mm. This strap is now DOT, it's not ready for DOT, it's not DOT approved, so the strap is done with, it's over with. So you got your trailer. I get a lot of questions all the time, people always ask that question, what size trailer, what length of a trailer do you need? Now as you can see, like I like to tell people all the time when I go live and whatnot, when you walk into that room, man or girl, whatever you are, you walk into that room, would you rather have something that's 30 feet long or something that's 40 feet long? You guys know what I'm talking about. We got a 40 foot trailer right here, 35 by five. The five plus by five is the mega ramps, all right? So let me show you this part too. Now it's cool if you decide to go with, you know, a trailer that's just a straight flat deck, but we went mega ramp. You can go flat deck, okay? If you want to go a flat deck, that means, flat deck means that all of this, this wood was come all the way back here, okay? So we went 35 by five because now we have these mega ramps. These are an option now. So the mega ramps give you the opportunity or give you the option to put these down and load up a car, um, load up a bobcat, anything that's got wheels that's got a turn instead of having to be lo loaded up with a flat, uh, not a flatbed, but um, with a, what's the thing? with a forklift all the time or crane down, you have the option to be able to drive something onto the trailer. Yeah, so the trailer is definitely a piece it's a strong piece in your equipment because this is all considered equipment that's important to the, your success in hot shot trucking. So as we make it our way downtown, we're going to walk all the way up to the front. I'm going to show you all another piece that I think is very, very important. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? This right here is very important. I know my back of my truck is a little dirty, but this is a toolbox slash a fuel tank. All right, so now you're probably asking, what the hell do you need a fuel tank for? Well, look where we at. All right, look where we at. We at a truck stop, right? These are right now six dollars and twenty-three cents. Okay. Let's see if we can get six dollars and twenty-three cents. It's expensive. I don't know if the camera's gonna let you go up there. Filling this thing up, you only get three hundred miles. Let's so say you gotta get eight hundred miles down the road. You're gonna stop probably about maybe two to three times before you get to your destination. Sometimes, like right now, the fuel items are clear, but when you're stopping, like during the daytime when people are busy, like right now it's Sunday. But if you were stopped during the Monday or Tuesday when people are actually working, it's gonna be a minute before you actually get to fill. Now, it may take 30 minutes, but people think, oh, it only takes you 30 minutes to fill up. You're not thinking about the five minutes it takes for you to get off the off-ramp. You're not thinking about the 30 minutes it takes for you to actually get inside the fuel island. You're not thinking about the time that you gotta wait behind somebody. You're not thinking about the time it takes you to get back on the road and up to speed. All that takes time. So. Estimate about 40 minutes to an hour it's going to take you to actually fill your truck up. You know what I'm saying? So, and on top of that, you may have to take a break. I say get a fuel tank, all right? That way this truck can run. This truck right here on a, on a, on a full full on a full tank is about 500 to 550 bucks, depending on where you're at. This will give you about 1,000 to 1,200 miles, okay? Now, everybody's not like that. This one is a 90-gallon fuel tank. No, actually, my bad. It's a 100-gallon fuel tank. Or is it 90 gallons? It's a 100 gallon fuel tank. All right, it's a 100 gallon fuel tank. Plus, with this, I think this is 35 gallons inside the default tank. So, that's about 135 gallons that you got right there. This is important. This is very, very important to your success in hot shot trucking. You don't want to be stopping all the time. There's going to be plenty of times where, especially if you're running a hot shot. Now, if you're a big guy, you know, they come whatever they, what the hell they come with already. I think they can fill up like 200 something gallons. But with a hot shot, you're only defaulted by 35 something gallons. So, to continue to compete with them, you want to be able to drop off your loads. For instance, we got a parcel here, we got a parcel there. Sometimes we got three or four different parcels on the trailer at one time. But if I have to stop and get fuel, 
that's messing me, that's hindering me from making the money that I could be, but hindering me from being efficient. It's making me slow, you know, to, you know, some little, to downplay the words, it's making me slow, making me not fast like the other guys. I can't compete. Some of these guys gotta drop off to one location or maybe two locations. Sometimes you may have to drop off to two or four different locations. But to be efficient during your drop offs, you wanna be able to have the fuel in the tank where you don't have to fuel up. You feel what I'm saying? You don't gotta fill up, you don't gotta stop. Once you drop off here, once you drop off there, you can keep going and drop off there. And then you know the best part about it is if your dispatch is good enough like my dad or Jade, you can go pick up over there and go pick up over there. You ain't never had to stop to go get fuel. That's important to have on your truck. Another, another important thing right here. It's a little dirty up in here. Don't worry about it. I got my girl on the road with me. Don't worry about it. You see this? This ain't no seat. All right? This don't look like that, nor does it look like that over there. This is a bed. Come on, take a look. This is a bed right here. All right, this is important. All right, the reason why it's important. Some folks don't know that hot shots sleep on the road. Now, some hot shots don't. I heard of a hot shot the other day that spent $600 a week on freaking hotels. I'm not doing that. The most I probably spent on a hotel is maybe $120 a week. You know, I like Marriott's or, or, or the Holiday Inns and stuff like that, and that's fine. But maybe once a week. Like we got a hotel right yesterday, right, babe, for two days. Because she came out, she flew out to Niagara Falls with me, she hung out with me. But for the most part, if you see this truck, I'm laying in the bed. Alright, because you wanna know why when I sleep in this bed, it don't cost me $120 with a $50 uh deposit. It don't cost me that. And I gotta wait two weeks before they give me my $50 back. It's free. You know what I'm saying? With my fuel tank, because you know this is full. Or whenever I get to the gas station, it's full. But this is free. You feel what I'm saying? So this is important to have because it's free. Who don't like free shit? I know you like free shit. I like free shit. This is important to have on your hot shot truck. Speaking of free shit though, it's not free, but I'm giving it to you for free. You can sign up for RTS. You see these things we got going on out here? Look at this. You got fuel, $6.23. You got partials on the low board, on the, on the trailer right now, right? Every time I book these partials, or every time Jay book these partials, or my dad books these partials, and I strap them down, and I chain them down, and I go to the receiver, and I drop them off. Every time that happens, RTS is a great company to have in your back pocket when you drop them loads off because they're gonna pay you same day or within 48 hours and give you your money. When you drop off them loads at the receivers, RTS can pay you same day or within 48 hours you can get your money up front in front of your face. You don't gotta wait no 30 days. You don't gotta wait no 60 days. You don't gotta wait no 90 days. Same day. You see that right there? Look at that. You probably can't see it that well. I don't need, you don't need to see it. Let me tell you what it is. You know what it is. $6.23 from Loves is what I'm reading right now. That's how much it is. We didn't get gas from them. Mm -mm, no, we did not. We did not get gas from them. We're going to go on the RTS app, and we're going to find some gas ourselves. Oh, my, my bad. Y'all don't like gas. Fuel. The correct word is fuel. We're going to find fuel for this truck. Other day, I paid $5.19 for some fuel. Somebody else was at a truck stop paying $6.20 for some fuel. How do you think I found that fuel? RTS. It ain't no joke. I'm not lying to y'all. That's some free game right there. All right, so let's make our way back downtown to the other part where we're coming right back to the trailer, all right? Another good part or another good uh, necessity to your hot shot journey are your tires. Look at that right there. You see that? You need these tires. Now you're probably saying, Benny, anybody can get some tires, Benny. Not these tires. Anybody can get them, but you know, they don't come with the trailer half the time. Uh, I don't said 14 ply plenty of times and plenty of videos, but I'm saying it again because this is this video. 14 ply tires or 16 ply tires is gonna make your, not your ride better, that's nothing like that, but it's gonna last longer, okay? Them 10 ply tires, they're not meant for the road. They're not meant for this weight. They're not meant for this speed. 14 ply is gonna do you a whole lot better. Look at the tire, come on. Look at the tire. Or you can go 16 ply tires. That's something important that you need in Hot Shot. We ain't gonna talk about it too long because it's a video right here. Right here, come on. All right, so another important thing right here, all right, check this out, boom. Now I'm not gonna say Dodge is the best, but Dodge is the best. I feel like you stared past me on purpose, bro. I feel like you did that shit on purpose. Loud as shit. Now, I heard some good things about Ford. I heard some good things about Chevy. Um, it just depends on what you want, where you want to go. It's up to you. With this Dodge, it's a 3500 Cummins. It says it's a diesel. Some people will argue that, man, you can, you can go with the gas models. No. 
these these semi hold on you see these semi trucks i bet you i bet you a hundred i bet you a hundred i bet you a hundred million i can go up to these these trucks right quick right and i can ask these folks hey do you put gas in your truck you know what he gonna tell me i put diesel okay so why would you come out here and you already beneath these guys we're not these guys we us guys we not those we this so why would you come out here and not only did you come out here without a semi truck but you're gonna come out here with a gas pickup truck if you don't go get yourself a diesel you feel what i'm saying so diesel um with this truck right here though this is 3500 it has a 4.10 gear ratio in the back axle right there the 14 gear ratio that's what you want you also have the um the 6.7 cummins and then you got the ASIN transmission, okay? So hold on, so everybody knows when you're gonna go look and you got that salesperson that's not gonna tell you the right stuff because he just wants to sell you a truck. I'm gonna show you what the truck got, all right? So you know what it is when you get it. So, uh -oh. Uh -oh. whoa, you see what that dipstick is right there? That dipstick right here, you see that dipstick? That's the transmission dipstick. All right, bring it back to me right quick. That transmission dipstick, if it's on this side of the truck, or this side of the motor passenger side if you look if you're on a passenger side or passenger not passenger but the left side of where I'm facing or the right side if you're looking this way which is the passenger side if it's on that side it's the wrong side that is not the Asian transmission that's like the 6 a f e f d something p p w something whatever it is something like that that's that transmission that transmission is not gonna last long for you it's not gonna do the job for you it's not gonna do what you wanted to do it's gonna screw you that's what it's gonna do you want to know why because we already know we already been there first truck we had pickle truck had that transmission we couldn't get that transmission we wasn't in a position to get that transmission which is the asian transmission right side driver side transmission dipstick that's what you want right there okay so the right truck if you're going with ram not saying it's the best truck but if you are going to go with a ram right side dipstick 3500 14 gear ratio all right you see i put my country voice on right there for you 14 gear ratio that's what you want right there you see what i'm saying other than that that's all you need to know. Hey, counting these commas, we run it up. I love these hoes that won't come with us. Sipping that dirty, she get her sloppy. Staying high, now she living the dreams. On the pants with Magello on me. Jolly Ranchers mix it up with the lean. Johnny Dang, all my diamonds on fleek. Pop me a perk, and she think I'm a geek. 